Well, hello all. So, weather here in San Francisco, blue skies, no overcast, no wind. It's supposed to be close to 80 degrees today. Don't know if it'll get up there or not. Uh, Thursday, it's supposed to be 86 or 87 degrees. We're supposed to break all kinds of records. Not normal weather for this time of the year. So what I wanted to dis discuss, a new article on what's happening here in California. And I'm sure this is happening all over the world because of the oil companies. What's going on? Well, several years ago, Chevron here in California started putting wastewater onto, onto uh, fields that grow food for people. And they kept doing this, then other co uh, companies started doing it, and they all, they're all pumping their wastewater onto uh, farmers' fields. Now the requirements are that you get nine inches or less of rain per year to get this. So they, they're trying to find water and they decided to go with wastewater from oil well. Now that is insanity. Dumping waste oil onto your farmlands. Does that make any sense to you at all? Sure doesn't to me. But things are even getting worse. Over the years, more companies and the ratio between oil and water has gone way up. Here's a graph showing how much oil is being added to the water. This wastewater is being added to the regular irrigation water. Insanity. Now what does all this, these chemicals do? Well, of course, the plants take it up and put it into the food that you, that you eat. What are the, some of the worst crops being affected? Macadamia nuts, walnuts, mostly the nut groups of trees. They're watering with this wastewater. Almonds are probably the worst to be contaminated. If you eat almonds, I'd change my mind because you're eating oil wall uh, almonds. They're laced with oil. Now, this was approved by the politicians. Now, how much money are they getting paid to okay wastewater on our fields, our farm fields, our food fields? And the problem is that oil doesn't just wash away. It stays in the ground and eventually makes it down into the aquifers. And if you get nine inches or less of water, you are dependent on those aquifers for drinking water. Why would you dump oil water on top of your aquifers? I have no idea. It's part of the insanity, part of the uh, politicians becoming insane and the people becoming insane because they keep putting in the same type of, of uh, politicians. Crap, junk, trash, non-thinkers, just money-hungry politicians looking for the payoff, the big booty. And that's exactly what's happening with dumping wastewater on California land. But it's got to be other states as well. I can't find it. But I would think that if you're dumping wastewater in California on the farm fields, why wouldn't the oil companies talk all the other states into doing the same thing to their farm fields? So if you have a very oily or petrochemical taste in your food. You know what's going on. Throw it out. Don't eat it. Find some food that's not grown with oil-laced water. That's just disgusting, isn't it? I could give you the gallons and the acreage and all that, but it doesn't matter because who knows what the true story is. On the books, it shows the ratio as I've shown it, but who knows off books what the real oil dumping is going on with the farm fields. See, once the farmers plow up the, the ground, they can't see the oil anymore. It all blends into the soil. Ugh. You know, this is, this is absolutely human insanity. And the only thing I can say is that we need to get our act together and start putting in real politicians that have a brain on their head and aren't so money hungry that they'll do anything for a dollar. So, on this summer day here in California, I appreciate all the ups, the downs, the new subscribers definitely the comments. Those are always the most important. Comment about what you think of this. Have you had any funny tasting food or noticed oily food 
or an oil sheen. Once you start boiling something and you have an oil sheen on your water, then you know you're in trouble. 